Jamaica is seeking over $10 billion in reparations from Britain. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Here's a story that I never thought I'd be reporting on. As you know, the conversation of reparations here in the United States seems to be just a political conversation from the last election. No real steps have been made to move forward in that regard. But now Jim, the island of Jamaica is looking to seek reparations from Britain. And of course, as always, we'll be citing our sources in the description of this video. And this is according to Essence Magazine. So Jamaican officials are petitioning Britain to compensate them for 7.6 billion pounds, $10.5 billion as reparations for the, Europeans, the European country's role in the transatlantic slave trade. So an estimated 600,000 Africans were brought to, well, brought is a light word. They were shipped to Jamaica uh, as slaves, according to the National Library of Jamaica. The country first colonized by Spain and then Britain was a British colony until it became independent in 1962. But as you may recall, Britain abolished slavery in 1834 and paid reparations not to the Africans, but to the slave owners. Sound familiar, United States of America? As Reuters is reporting, the British government took out a 20 million pound loan to pay them and only finished paying the interest payments back in 2015. <laughs> Just another reminder that slavery is not that far in the past. So Jamaican lawmaker Mike Henry is initiating the reparations petition, and this is what, what he said. I'm asking for the same amount of money to be paid to the slaves that was paid to the slave owners. So upon approval from Jamaica's National Commission on Reparations, they have a commission, y'all. Come on, United States. The petition will be filed pending advice from Jamaica's attorney general and three legal teams. It will then head to Britain's Queen Elizabeth. So Jamaica's government established the National Commission of Reparations back in 2009 to recommend the form or forms which reparations may take and to receive testimony from the public and from experts with the aim of guiding a national approach to reparations. And this is one of the things that during the election, people were saying that this is what we need to do. This is not just going to be a hand me out. They want a commission to study on how this should be handled in regards to reparations. Because very similar here in the United States, the reparations were given to slave owners and not former slaves. The Jamaica Information Service, a government organization that has shared background on the commission, stated in 2014 that, quote, slavery was declared a crime against humanity by the World Conference Against Racism, Racial Discrimination, Xenophobia, and Related Intolerance held in South Africa in 2001. Acts of reparations have been established as appropriate form of redress in instances which such injustices have been afflicted. I do find, I found this to be interesting news because there's a lot that we don't know. And specifically, as you may have been seeing the headlines in what's going on in the state Senate in Texas, where they're saying that you can no longer say that the KKK is morally wrong and other problematic things. If, if you haven't seen that story, be sure to, to Google that. So I do think that it's interesting that Jamaica is making this move. Look, Jamaica can say exactly what the slave trade has done to their country overall and continues to do. Yes, there's, there's you know, corruption in the government and things like that, but this all stems from slavery and why Jamaica and other countries in the Caribbean are not where they could be in regards to their stance in the world when it comes to the economy, when it comes to other things. But I do want to continue following the story and see what Britain's response will be to this bill. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section on this. Do you believe in this? Do you? What do you think should be the, the step forward for the United States in this regard? I want to hear your thoughts. As always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload.